All right, folks, I know I've been slacking like crazy here in December. I'm actually home now. I had to come home and do some business stuff. And uh, got some extra footage. A lot of times when I go fishing, I'll, you know, like I th made that swim bait video or the crankbait videos. I'll still catch fish on some other baits. I usually have, you know, eight or ten rods on the deck. And I'll catch a few flipping or whatever. And I don't put it in the video because it didn't go with the theme of the video. So got a lot of that extra stuff. I've got some DT6 catches, some A-rig catches, some flipping fish chatterbait fish here and there you know I've just got some extra footage that I didn't put in any of these videos and I don't have any footage right now I've been slacking in December had a lot of problems going on and then now I've got a it's my fault I should have been more prepared knowing that it was gonna get worse in December but anyways hope you all enjoy this footage it's leftover extra bonus footage and as always enjoy the footage I'll see y'all at the end Finally. He ain't what I'm looking for though, but finally got one of my dad gum Alabama rig, man. Throwing that sucker a ton and that's what I finally get on. But I'm happy to get a dad gum bite. A little bitty one on the DT6. Crankbait is really about covering water. You know? Yeah. It's, it's rarely the best way to catch a fish out of an area. Yeah. Because, but you can go so fast with it, you can fish a lot more areas. Can y'all keep the horse at Charles' house? Her aunt's got a farm. Yeah. I don't think we keep him around there. But... We keep it up there. She's got a farm in Sophie. I'm scared of this. I am too. I'm scared of anything bigger than this. <laughs> yeah, right? I once got a bite for my daughter one time at a fair. She was fed and we tried to bite her. I thought I was at the fire in the house. Yeah, trust me. Something bigger than me, I'm gonna pop up. Of course, I might want to do something I don't want to do, you know? It's a small mouth. A little bit better one there. On the old rig, man, it's cool. These fish in this lake are really, really current oriented and they really, really group up. It's like I got into a little current on a good spot and I've been caught like four or five in like 45 minutes. And they just, when you find them, they eat. This lake is good for that. If you're around fish, it's not very hard to give them a bite. Like, 
I've caught them a lot of ways where you couldn't get a bite on other lakes no matter how close you were to fish. But here, if you get around them, they bite. Just fish aren't every, There's a lot of dead water on this lake, and they're definitely not everywhere. But I'm catching a few right now, and I am not complaining. Oh, look at how fat that daggum spot is. Oh my goodness. What? <laughs> I mean, check this sucker out. Look at that thing. I gotta weigh him just to see. Holy crap. Look at that sucker, man. <laughs> He's a... He's a two and a quarter, and let's see what he weighs. Oh my goodness. Let's see how long he is. That's a 15 inch spot. Weighed two four. Look at that thing. What are these fish doing up here, man? All right, folks, so I'm at home now in Alabama. This is the boat I started fishing in. 12-year-old little K-Dub on, on the lake in this thing, bouncing around like crazy. Now my little brother's took it over. He's got all his rods in it. But anyway, if you like that video, as always, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that sub button. We have been blowing through milestones recently. We'll be at 500 before you know it. Appreciate it, guys. And keep hitting that sub button. Share these videos. Appreciate it.